Welcome into the Lakers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Let's break down LA's first round playoff series. They, of course, will take on the Phoenix Suns. We got a full preview for you and my three keys to victory for Los Angeles. So the stage is set. CP3 will take on his buddy LeBron James in this first round matchup. Game one will take place on Sunday, 3.30 Eastern time out in Phoenix. LeBron and AD, Devin Booker and Chris Paul. You got DeAndre Ayton. This is going to be a fun, fun series. And LeBron has never faced his pal Chris Paul in the postseason. I cannot wait for this matchup. Now, these teams played three times in the regular season. Phoenix went two and one. Remember, uh, injuries both to LeBron and AD, so they were kind of in and out throughout the season. March 2nd, the Suns won by 10 points. They also won on March 21st by 17. But the most recent matchup, it was a game in which Anthony Davis went off. Uh, the Lakers were able to uh, beat Phoenix 123 to 110. So three games this year, these teams are familiar with one another. Before we get into some keys to victory for the Los Angeles Lakers, who do you got in this first round matchup in the Western Conference? Type L for the Lakers, type S for the Suns. We've never Never seen a more dangerous seven seed in NBA history, and that's where we are with the Lakers. Get your votes in L for Lakers or S for Suns. If you want to go bet on this matchup, you can with our sports betting partner, BetUS. All you got to do is go to chatsports.com slash Lakers and plug in our promo code Lakers125. You can get a 125% deposit bonus when you go to that link below. It's chatsports.com slash Lakers. Go bet on this matchup. It's uh, uh, promo code Lakers125, by the way. The over-under between the two teams for game one, 212.5 points. The spread Phoenix slight favorites at a two-and-a-half point favorite. Get going with BetUS at chatsports.com slash Lakers. You see the promo code right there. It's Lakers125. Go make some money on the Lakers this postseason. Obviously, the Lakers got here because they had to play in the play-in game, and uh, we saw an instant classic on Wednesday night in which the Lakers held off the Warriors 103-100 to to get to this matchup with the Phoenix Suns. One of the better games of the year, I would say, right? LeBron, AD, and Steph going back and forth, Andrew Wiggins as well. But it was key for L.A. to win that game, not only to secure the playoff spot, but to get a couple of extra days off uh, so LeBron, for example, could rest that ankle a little more. He says he is good to go, by the way, for game one. Western Conference playoffs uh, sit like this. Uh, obviously, we don't know the eight seed yet. We're filming this on Friday afternoon. Warriors-Grizzlies play tonight for the final playoff spot for a right to play the Jazz. Obviously, the Lakers down there, you see them facing the Suns, Nuggets, Blazers, and then Clippers, Mavericks as well. So let's get into the specifics of this Lakers Sun series. Three keys to victory. Number one, you got to frustrate Chris Paul if you are the purple and gold. He has played at an MVP caliber level this season. He's been unbelievable for the Phoenix Suns. You don't go from missing the playoffs to being a two seed by accident. Chris Paul is the difference. There is no disputing that when it comes to Phoenix. Like, sure, he's not a 25-point, 12-assist guy, but 16.5 points, 9 assists, only like two turnovers a game. He's shooting 40% from three-point range, and his impact on both ends of the floor and just in that locker room has been undeniable, and he's just such a floor general. No turnovers, no mistakes. I think you got you to gotta make him uncomfortable. you got to throw different bodies at him. LeBron needs to guard him some. Caruso needs to get in there and be a scrappy, edgy defender, frustrate him some. If you're going to foul him, foul him hard. Make him frustrated. He can get frustrated at times. We've seen that in the playoffs in the past. You make him a little bit uncomfortable. You force guys like Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton, who haven't been on this stage before, to try and beat you. You're going to be feeling in a much better position overall if you are L.A. If Chris Paul is running the show, Phoenix is a very, very tough team to beat. Are you still mad, by the way, when about the NBA revoking the CP3 Lakers trade years ago? I don't even know what's it been, 10 years at this point? It's been a while. Type Y for yes, type N for no. I wouldn't blame you if you still were because that was uh, that was criminal by the NBA. There's no doubt about it. Y for yes, N for no. 
are you still butthurt over the uh, revoked CP3 Lakers trade from back in the day? Second key to victory, feed Anthony Davis. He's slowly, slowly starting to look like he did last year when he really, you could argue, was the best player for the Lakers in the playoffs uh, back in 2020 down in the bubble. The last time these two teams met, I mentioned LA won uh, 123 to 110. No LeBron in that game. Look what AD did. 42 points, 12 rebounds, about 50% from the floor. He had an incredible game, and he's starting to be that dominant force once again. DeAndre Ayton cannot guard Anthony Davis. Let's just let's just throw that out there right now. That is not going to happen. AD could average 30 in this series, get him a lot of shots. We saw him get off to a slow start against the Warriors the other night in that play-in game, but uh, once he got going in the second half, he was very, very impressive. I like the way he's playing. I think he can dominate the Phoenix Suns. Now, we're going to have Lakers coverage all postseason long, which is why you should subscribe to us here at the Lakers Report. It's YouTube.com slash Lakers TV. Uh, the latest news, injury updates. We'll probably do some individual game recaps and previews as well throughout this first-round series and hopefully throughout the playoffs as they continue to advance. At least we hope that ends up happening. YouTube.com slash Lakers TV. Hit that sub button. Don't miss any of our coverage throughout the postseason. My third and final key to victory, and it's really just what we see every year, it's time to activate King James. It's zero dark 23 time, baby. LeBron James in the playoffs. We all know he lifts it to a whole new level. Didn't have the most efficient night, but was very clutch against the Warriors, right? In that closeout game, we saw the late uh, just dagger three to put that game away. 7-17, Seven to 17, He's he'll, he'll play better than that shooting-wise, but still had a triple-double. 22 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. That's what you're looking for, 23 to 27 points and about 10 and 10, right? Like, you want him to be your point guard. You want him to grab rebounds. You want him to play defense. Playoff Braun always lifts his level. We all know that, and I fully expect that to be the case. I mentioned earlier, he said he's good to go for Sunday. Will he be 100%? Probably not, but he's not going to be 100%. 85 90% LeBron James, he can get it done in the postseason. I don't worry about that ankle too much. I think he's going to be ready to rock come Sunday and throughout this playoff run. So who you got? I want to remind, I want to ask you guys one more time. I asked you at the beginning. I want to ask you again here. Type L for the Lakers. Type S for the Suns. Show off, Laker Nation. If any Phoenix fans uh, infiltrate the chat, you can type S. But Laker Nation has to sound out the uh, Phoenix Suns uh, fans here in the comment section. Get those L's flowing down below. For me, what do I feel? I think this is going to be a classic. I think this is going to be a great series. Give me the Lakers in seven games. They win in game seven on the road at Phoenix. And then Chris Paul is just back to the drawing board this offseason. A brutal draw for the Phoenix Suns. They have an unbelievable year, and they get the defending champs in a 2-7 matchup. That is rough for Phoenix. But, hey, you got to go through the King to win the Western Conference. You might as well try and get them early, but I still think the Lakers get this thing done. It goes the distance. I like the purple and gold in seven games, and these three reasons will be why they can get it done. If you can frustrate and agitate Chris Paul, that's huge. Feed Anthony Davis early and often. Get him a lot of shots, even if he's a slow starter. Uh, if you continue to get him some shots. And then uh, King James, it's playoff time, baby. Time to activate LeBron James. Game one gets going this Sunday, May 23rd, 3.30 Eastern time. Check it out, and we will have coverage uh, throughout the, uh, the postseason here on the Lakers Report. So don't miss any of it, and hey, we'll see you next time.